Well, they became Sony Music New Zealand's highest selling Kiwi band with seven top 20 singles and three top 10 albums, two that went to number one. And we are so excited that multi award winning Stella are playing together again after an eight year break. It is so great to have you with us, Bo and Kurt Shane. Yes. So, uh, so you, reunite, you reunited to pay tribute at the Vodafone New Zealand Music Awards to, to Sharon O'Neill, which was amazing. So also on the back of that, you did that extraordinary version of Maxine that you decided to get the band back together again? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was exciting to sort of work on um, Sharon O'Neill's song because that's a great, iconic New Zealand song and we were a bit nervous about doing it, but it sort of inspired us to... Play some more music together again. So. Okay, this is actually fun. It was mm. fun, yeah. That is yeah, good. great performance too. And uh, Kurt, the same lineup, obviously, from all yeah. those years ago. So you must get on quite well together, all yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, actually, we probably find it easier just hanging out and having dinners and coffees and stuff. Than, uh, I mean, it took us a while to, we're older now. to even <laughs> talk about playing again. You know, it took us a few years to even contemplate that. But it, it kind of makes sense because for the first time in a long time, we're all based in Auckland again. Right. For a while, Bo was in the, in the States, and I had a couple of years in Australia and stuff. So, it's sort of, yeah, it's no reason. We, we ran out of excuses not to get back to. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's yeah. good to have you back. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it's really exciting. I guess it also, if you're overseas and that it's hard, you can't really practice with a band on Skype now, can you? No. That's it. Just falling down. <laughs> it's fine. It's the first it's show. It's fine. Blue check. I know you're back on stage. Uh, back touring. I want to know: have your have your riders changed from when you were doing it, like say <laughs> nearly 20 years ago, until till now? I think it's gotten definitely gotten more along the wine. Yeah wine on the rider rather than beers and you don't want the bottom shelf stuff you want the good stuff now yeah. fair enough <laughs> refined <laughs> refined <laughs> rider no, you know. no moe no show <laughs> <laughs> i love it <laughs> okay so let's talk about your career because you know it feels it's so nice to actually have you guys here it feels like you know back in the late 90s early 2000s and we were doing this on the radio together yeah. so you know numerous music awards numerous top albums what do you think would be the highlight for you. I'll start with you, Bo. What do you reckon? The highlight. Um, I think the most the strangest thing, and it still is, is, is actually looking out to the audience and everyone singing. It's not just the highlight, it's just the general, the general thing that people know the song. So that's an amazing kind of feeling, you know. I'm like, I can't believe people know the song. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a good kick. It's really, it's really fun. And one of the very few songs, that violent song with nihilistic in it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people know that word now. Uh, what about you, Kurt? What do you think the highlight is for you? Um, the f well, first of all, starting off when, when we got to travel around parts of New Zealand that we hadn't been to before, and then that led to... Um, going over to Australia and doing some quite big shows over there and then we went up to Europe and played a festival up there and in, in London as well so some of those travel opportunities were pretty good especially you know when we were quite young and, it was, and you're not having to pay for it yourself. So, yeah. <laughs> so much better when you travel you don't have to pay for it oh, yourself. brilliant and then someone gives you some money at the end of it and you go wow that was a good I love this job. Time. Yeah. So you've both got busy day jobs haven't you? You're a, a concert promoter Kurt yeah. and you've got your jewellery line of course. You just opened a shop in Ponsonby as well? Yes in Ponsonby. Yep. So is there any idea, I mean that must keep you both very busy but is there an idea that maybe this might be a more permanent get together and maybe there might be a new album out of this? Oh, we're jumping Good the shot. gun now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, an album's a huge undertaking for yeah. us, the way we record and go through various options and things. But there's nothing, I think maybe there's nothing to say that we wouldn't do a single or an EP or something if, if the material was there, you know. Never but say it's never. A, yeah, it's, but it's not actually yeah. something we've... We're sort of focusing on these shows, yeah. And I can remember, I think Magic came out at about the time September the 11th attacks happened, so that mm, was really yeah, unfortunate yeah. timing in the music world, wasn't it? Uh, but I, I read somewhere else that you guys get together every now and again, spend the royalties on having a <laughs> dinner. Is that, is that true? Is that a true story? Yeah. <laughs> so how does that work? So once a year you get some royalty money and you all just get together and have a dinner? Yeah. It sends an email. Right. Some more money's coming. <laughs> From Amphra. Where shall we go? Music. Yeah, yeah. And high end restaurants or takeaways? You yeah, get Bo to choose them. She knows the spots. <laughs> she would know the good spots. Yeah. Too. It depends if it's been a good year or a bad year. Okay, so, so we've still got a few more dates you're going to be playing very soon. Tell us about these tours. Yeah, well, this, this coming weekend, March the 3rd, the Saturday, we've got um, a big festival down in Christchurch. Nice. Sell and Sounds with Jimmy Barnes and the Mockers and a whole bunch of bands. Oh, that sounds awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'll be so cool. Much fun. And then we've got our own 
our own tour, uh, just two shows, Auckland on March the 9th at the Tuning Fork and uh, San Fran down in Wellington on, on the 10th. Well, thank you so much for coming in, guys. Really looking forward to it. And you can check out Ticketmaster for all of the ticket details.